Good morning and a beautiful day to you from Klong Nin Beach, Khao Lanta, Thailand. And today we are on beach tour. We are going to head from the most westerly northern beach of Koh Lanta Island and head to the very southern beach and show you what every single beach in between is like. At the very north is Klong Dao Beach, right up here. Moving further south from that, you've got Fei Air or Long Beach. Moving down to central west, you've got Klong Kong. And south of that is Klong Nin Beach. Then you've got to head quite a bit further south before you come to Klong Hin Beach. Then Ba Kantiang Bay, New Beach, Klang Chak Beach or Klong Chak Beach. And right at the bottom, before you get in the reserve, the most southerly beach, Bamboo Beach. Still have a beautiful day, but let me take you down and show you the beach and Klong Dao. Now the north up here is where you arrive by ferry on the island, or if you've driven across from the mainland. And Klong Dao Beach is the first beach you come to, heading south. It is probably the busiest beach on Koh Lanta and has lots of accommodation options both along the beach and close by to the area. And of course, it's close to the port. There is also lots of places to eat and drink along the beach, several places to get a massage, and even a small shop. The beach itself is a nice, long, wide beach with soft sand and swimming friendly water. There is limited shade provided by some trees in some patches along the shoreline, and all this makes Klong Dao Beach a great place to spend the day and also a good, convenient place to base yourself on the island. Moving further south, another three kilometers or about 10 minutes south of Klong Dao, you will find Koh Lanta's most well known beach. Fei Air, also known as Long Beach, rocky cliffs on one end, and then a long, long stretch of beautiful beach. It is the long, longest beach on the island, and as well as nicely spaced out higher end resorts, you can find bungalows and beach huts to stay in all along this stretch of beach. Restaurants and beach bars hide amongst the trees that offer some shade, while the long, wide beach always has plenty of space for sunbathing. Swimming is good here, but avoid the rocks at the south end of the beach. An all round good option for budgets without too many crowds. Making our way down the western coast of Koh Lanta, we have now come to about midsection, halfway down, to what's considered a more sort of budget beach with some more budget style accommodation, good for backpackers, and a bit more of a party vibe. And this is Klong Kong Beach. It still has a lovely beach, but there is a lot of rocks just offshore, making swimming difficult. At high tide, the water almost reaches the bars and eateries that line the beach. More of a party vibe along here, but don't expect all night raucous parties like some of the Thai islands. This is chilled out Koh Lanta after all. Koh Klong is a good 
budget option and centrally located halfway down the western side of the island, making it a good base to explore all of Koh Lanta. Heading further south, down Koh Lanta Island, gets a little bit quieter, there's a bit further to go, and we're now at Klong Nin Beach. So let me just take you across the road without getting run over. Oh, this is going to be risky. Okay, yep. Hong Nin Beach is most popular at sunset, with restaurants and bars spilling out onto the soft sand, offering front row seats of the tropical sunset as you enjoy a meal and a few drinks. There are a few places to stay along the beachfront, offering good value. The beach is good for swimming and sunbathing, but apart from the bars and restaurants, there is not a lot of shade here. And heading even further south down the island of Koh Lanta, we're now arrived at Bakantian Beach. Which is a walk, a bit tricky to find this one. I did find it, but well, I think I have. Going through this little walkway, I can see the sea, I can hopefully hear the beach. No, I can Let me show you. <laughs> Kantiang Bay is a two-kilometer stretch of beautiful wide beach hemmed in by jungle headlands, making Kantiang Bay one of Koh Lanta's most beautiful beaches. And as a bonus, you won't find too many crowds here, so it, you really can feel like you have a whole tropical beach to yourself. The accommodation along Kantiang Beach is more high-end and five-star resort, so if you want a real luxury experience, these are the resorts to go to and there is limited budget places to eat and drink and stay along this beach. But the beach is beautiful. Swimming is good, and there is a few trees lining parts of the beach offering shade. Now, I'm a little reluctant to share the next one with you because this was my personal favourite beach and what made it so good was the fact that very few people know about it and go to it. We've now come to Ao Nui Beach, which you park on the top of the road right here. Then you take this steep path down to the beach and I can see beautiful white sand and beautiful aquamarine sea. I take you down and introduce you to Ao Nui Beach. will find a beach that's very different to a lot of the other beaches on Koh Lanta. This is New Bay. New Bay is a small beach in a secluded bay with no accommodation at all and only one small beach bar for food and drinks. It really is a hidden gem that is worth a walk down from the parking at the top of the cliff, you know, so there's no access down there, you have to park at the top, walk down. It was my favourite beach on Koh Lanta. It was peaceful, beautiful, 
unspoilt and relaxing, and yet sheltered and protected as well. The beach is nice, the swimming was great, and very few people know about it. So, if you do go there, don't tell too many people about it. Let's keep it a quiet secret between ourselves. It's a beautiful day still, and we are going even further south down Kolanta Island, and we've now arrived at Klong Chak Beach. Almost at the end of the island, not quite, but almost the last beach. So, uh, let's show you this beach, another beautiful beach. They are getting quieter and quieter as they go south. <laughs> Just around the headland from New Bay, one kilometre south or three minutes by bike, you will find Klong Jark Beach, offering a handful of places to stay and eat in a beautiful emerald bay backed by the hills of Koh Lant. Again, another beautiful picturesque beach. A beautiful beach for sunbathing, great swimming too. Accommodation and food was a little more expensive here and there is not much natural shade if you're not at one of the restaurants and bars. It is also very quiet, because the further south you go, the less tourists you get. southerly and probably quietest beach. This is Bamboo Beach, almost in the National Park at the south. The only thing south of here is the lighthouse in the National Park. And it's uh, quite a big beach. And looking beautiful as usual. Let's show you around. Bamboo Bay is completely undeveloped. There is nothing on the beach except sand and shells. Very few people come here and any food, drinks or shade or anything you want, you'll have to bring with you. But if you want an empty deserted peace, beach and total peace and quiet from human development, come and enjoy some time on this untouched little paradise. There we have a quick overview of the main beaches of Koh Lanta. Let me know which are your favourites or if I've missed any that, that I really should visit next time. But I hope this has given you some guides as to where to stay, what the budget's like and more importantly what the beaches are like. So go and enjoy Koh Lanta, let me know what you think. <laughs>